Hi, I'm Rahul Prabhune and I'm going to take you through an overview on project documentation add-in. This application is completely isolated and does not talk to any external services. It is free on Office Store and I would encourage you to use this application for your Office 365 as well as on-premise SharePoint version. I have been recently using this application to create documents around my projects and it has definitely made my life easier. So let me walk you through some of the features this application provides. Here is the back button which will take you back to your SharePoint site. And then on the right we have got manage app permissions and themes. This application empowers you to define user permissions at granular level. What I mean is you get to decide who can do what at application, project and document. This is useful if you are working on some confidential projects or document. You can manage user permissions for this application by clicking on manage app permissions. By default, this application inherits user permissions from the site on which it is installed, but we can change this by clicking on Stop Inheriting Permissions. And then we can manage permissions by adding or removing users or groups. So going back to the home page, you can similarly manage user permissions at project level by editing your project. And then clicking on Manage Permissions. And if you want to manage user permissions for a document, you need to click on this user icon. Now let's bring in the user who has read-only permissions on this application. In this case, user2 will get a message over here which says that some of the features will be disabled as you do not have necessary permissions. So you can see over here, based on permissions, the controls are disabled. Moving on to the themes, you can change the look of this application as per your site's branding which will give you a continuous user experience between your site and this application. Here you can have your own subtitle for this application. For colors, we can go with hexadecimal or RGB values, but for the demo purpose, I'm just going to make everything look green. After you have branded this application with appropriate color schemes, I would recommend you to lock these settings so that other users won't be able to edit them. And then hit apply. Okay, so let me quickly reset these values. All right, so this was all about themes. Moving on to projects, you can create multiple projects and each project will eventually have documents. You can either use in inbuilt HTML editor or you can create your own content inside Office Word document and just copy and paste it over here. So let me quickly create a couple of projects. One of the cool features we have over here is you can reorder your projects with simple drag and drop and hit apply. Now if you already have documents uploaded somewhere in SharePoint, I would recommend you to pull them off on your local machine and upload them inside your project by creating a doc new document library. So each project will have its own document library and you can associate a out of the box approval workflow or custom workflow with it. In interest of time, let me pause this video to upload some documents and create a workflow status column manually and fill in their values. So now if you see, I have got some documents and a workflow status column called approval workflow with some values. So going back to my home page, you can see all the uploaded documents are displayed under this project. The last thing we have to do here is to edit the project details and enter the workflow status field. Let me click on validate just to make sure I've entered the right value and I will save the changes. And now if you see, we have got status flag with different colors on each uploaded document. The convenience here is you can read, edit, delete, manage permissions and monitor the workflow status of these documents right from here instead of navigating to the document library. This was for your existing documents, but what if you want to create a new document from scratch? This is where things are going to get interesting. So let me add a new document and name it my requirement specifications. For this document, you can see read, edit, print and manage permissions option. But the template icon on the left is missing, which you can see on these two documents. This is because these documents are marked as template and our new one is not. Let me show you the magic of template by editing this document. Here are our templates on the right from where we can add sections into this document.
and you can mark this document as template from here now we are going to use left navigation to work on this document from here we can add sections and also edit them if multiple users are working on the document at the same time this application brings in the latest data from the server at runtime without page refresh and this ensures that you will never work on stale data if i am working on the sections other users won't be able to edit it let me bring in another browser where i have logged in with user 1 so here i get to know who has checked out this section and i do not see an edit button now if user 1 is editing this section and if i jump into another user without page refresh i would be able to see this edit button but when i click on it it will give me a message that user 1 is currently working on this section i may choose to click on refresh button to get the latest data from the server for this document in this edit mode i get to decide which features i would like to activate on this section let's activate change request and comments on this section so with change request here now instead of communicating any required changes to the document via email or phone call during the review process you can do it right from here and with comments here you can put your suggestion or remarks on this section you can edit as well as delete your change request and comments at any point of time so if you want to work on this section in draft mode and don't want others to see this section until it's ready you can uncheck the publish option from here switching to user 1 i'm not able to see the content of this section if i go in left navigation and hover on this icon i get to see who has kept this section hidden so going back let me publish this section and when i refresh this document for user 1 now i can see the content If you do not want others to make changes to a particular section, you can freeze that section. So switching to user 1, I am not able to edit this section. You can reorder sections with simple drag and drop and hit apply. Here is the read mode. where you can navigate around sections and then there is a print mode where you can not only print this document but you can copy and paste this document in office word and upload it to your projects document library where you can associate a approval workflow which completes the cycle if you want to add more features or want to customize existing features in this application for your enterprise please feel free to get in touch with me thank you